You're my boys, your boy Splashy here, and today's gameplay slash shoot boo slash intro slash shoot around slash badges slash gas up will be on Anthony Davis. The people that I think everybody is waiting for, and a couple of gameplays done went out, but I know y'all want to see me use them, tell you what his pros and cons is, etc. etc. So what I think Anthony Davis is in this meta of the game right now, I do not think he can play center with the amount of rim runs that go. I think he is too small in game player build wise to be able to stop the Russell Westbrooks, the John Morants, the C Francis's, the all of the, the Derrick Roses, the slashing guards that are Anthony Edwards, everybody who's running at the paint. But I do think at the power four position, he is and will be the best power four for minimum two months. Like, I'm saying minimum. I do, even if Giannis comes out, Giannis isn't going to mess with AD. LeBron probably isn't messing with AD. KD's not messing with AD. Dolph Shays wouldn't mess with AD. I think they'll all have good cards, but I do think you'll have to find another spot to help share with Anthony Davis. So, let's go to freestyle and let's see what his shot hidden for right away because it does have a little pause in between to catch with it, but I don't think that'll make me miss in any way, shape, or form. First shot, you already know that's chicken. It's Anthony Davis. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to shoot with AD. You could probably shoot with your eyes closed at the end of the day. Like, it's no chance you missing wide open with AD anytime soon. Like, we got five already. I never hit five right out gate unless a point guard. We at six. We at seven. We at eight. Like, you see the shot. Only thing I say is if you get a bad catch, I think his shot is probably almost ungreenable. We at 10. That's an early. And it's still green. 11. That's a 12. You already know my stuff on Hoff before we come in here. So you know you ain't got to. you just hitting like this because it's not on Hoff. This is wide open practice shots. I look just like the players in the NBA. 15 in a row so far. 16 in a row. 17 in a row. 18 in a row. We're going to be here all night, man. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we hit 19 in a row, so I don't have to shoot around with him no more. His misdirection is probably the same speed as every other point guard on the game. He does have a decent little explosive behind the back. I know some of y'all like doing that little bot move, just in case somebody not paying attention. You just hit him with it real quick. Um, he also has normal face, so that means he is allowed to put the ball on the ground and go put on a show, if anything. Like, I'm not saying he's going to be able to run the ball, but say, like, you get the ball to AD, six seconds left on the clock, backwards escape, normal fade, we run. Like, that's probably everything I got to show y'all. I mean, that's probably the quickest freestyle I've never had to do. I mean, you you, you know you know he never going to miss. Like, he never going to miss wide open. But that's why if he in the lineup and I play you, he won't be getting any shots. He won't be getting a shot wide open. Oh, yeah, boy, you got nervous. He won't be getting one shot wide open just because of that fact. Boom. So let's get to the badges and shoe boots. The way I would badge out Anthony Davis animations he does have back scratchers but i don't think that's really a limitless takeoff dunk so i would give him masher one i would give him clamp breaker quick first step i would give him challenger uh i would give him limitless range because i think you guys are going to want to shoot from pretty far with anthony davis and i would either get and i would give him vice grip shoe boost i would give him speed three pointer driving dunk steal and block so let me make sure i show y'all what that shoe would look like because some of y'all need the visual so it would be three pointer block steal shout out to my boy sorens as well for uh letting me get the anthony davis game plan it's very hard to get people to even let you get on their accounts especially to test out the opals so Appreciate you, my boy. Uh, this is the shoe, though. Block, three-pointer, steal, dunk, and speed. You just saw everything in freestyle. That's the quickest freestyle I've ever had to go through. So now it's time to see if he can bang at the five in Unlimited. Let's get straight to it. And here, my boys, is the best gameplay you need to see on the best player. We're going versus Dyson Daniels, J.R. Smith, Melo, Dirk, and Sean Marion. We're going to try to only give him the ball and put on the show with one man. As you can see, we hit AD down low. He ends up getting a quick standing dunk. Boom, right there. 
AD injured his Sean Marion right out gate. It's nothing he got for me. It's cool, though, because AD's all over the place. AD with the fake blitz. He's there. He's walled. He's walled. He's walled. He's walled. Bow, we gone. You know who I'm looking for. You know who I'm looking for. I'm looking for AD right down the middle. Hey! 50%. I mean, that's just the Opal take right there. That's an Opal finish. Sean Marion trying to drop step me. Derek shoots a bug. We looking at his snag animations. He gets up one arm. I do wish he had half box out beast, but it's cool. We live with it. Boom. He barely shows his cards. AD gets it off literally right in a minuscule space that not even a lot of people gonna do. We give it to AD again. Backwards escape into the normal fade. I'm telling you, that man can do anything you need him to do. We gonna hit AD one more time. Hit him again. Let's knock down another. What's that? A 20? Bow! That boy quit, but you knew he was gonna quit. So then in this game, you see, I was trying to make sure this guy lasted as long as possible. But what I will say about AD versus this guy I play, um, Embiid and AD were going at it like it was real life. His Embiid was really giving me crazy work, but it's okay because AD touched the ball every play and that's all that matter. We hit AD on the pop right out gate off the load up. That's knockdown. Three zip. Come on, AD. He ends up smoking it. We're going to take this little free board. We're going we gonna to throw it down. We're going to wait for AD to come down. We're going to wait for AD to come down. We hit AD. He shoots from limitless. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We hit AD in the middle of the paint. Tries to wait on the jump. He doesn't jump. We end up going up on the opposite side. Lay. His jump shot still feels good. I do think it feels like it has a hitch, but it's only if you get a bad catch. If you don't get a bad catch with his with his with his jumper, you probably will never miss. And that's all that matters because nobody's leaving your AD wide open. AD, we get the we give him a wide open lane just to see if we can get the 2K22 chase down animation. And we do. He ends up going up on me. Boom. We get the board. It's Bobo versus me in the paint. I'm walled up. I'm walled up. I'm walled up. I am walled up. He tries to go around me. I'm here. I'm walled up. He does some BS. Free board. Let's get that. And we run, and we run, and we run. Excuse me, you're in my way. Excuse me, you're in my way. Hey, hey. Like, come on, what can't the man do? Any other game, that would have been a quick stop, but on this game, we caught at a slow stop. We right by him. It's bow, bow, guard me. We wait out the reach. One foot, lay. I'm telling y'all, the game plays, you know, I do everything y'all need to see when y'all need to see it. You feel me? Boom, we go right. He gives me that little slither of space. Wow, AD, it's the normal fade. I'm telling you, the normal fade make everything so much easier. We supposed to get the blitz right there. We don't. AD, come save the day. He's putting on a master class. He's putting on a master class. I'm not going to say this was my most fun gameplay. I probably had more fun with Clyde while playing less time. But this was the smoothest and easiest gameplay. Like, AD was obviously just showcasing why he's obviously just better than this guy. And there's nothing we can do about it. Like, we hit AD on the slip. Easy dunk. No, that's normal. That's nothing splashy or nothing about it. AD also does have the Hoff Interceptor, so you can play the crazy lanes with him. On top of the fact you got Hoff Poster, so you should be able to go with some crazy stuff. We wall him up. He ends up getting the three seconds. That's good D. AD with the slip pop. We could have shot it. Now we want to make him look like a fool. Easy. We're going to go with a nice little layup left side of the backboard. Bow, we got him boxed out. AD grabs the board. Right now he's at 24 and 6 in the second quarter. He's literally dying of energy though. We end up looking for AD again. We hit AD. Embiid's guard me. Hey, hey, right by him. Hey, let's get one AD. Boom, AD right by him again. Literally pushing Embiid off of me into the fake pass, standing dunk glitch. Let me get a dunk. Steve Nash with AD in the game. You know we hit AD on the slip one more time. Another dunk. 30 and 6. He has the Gatorade symbol. It's cool. We put him back in in the fourth. AD almost pulls that. Throws a dot out the bailout right to K. That's knocked down. We up 8. We up 6. AD got the ball. Going right to the paint. Easy dunk from Limitless Takeoff. We need that. AD once again with another clamp breaker blow by animation on MB. And he's working MB right now. We hit AD again. We could have slapped the slow fade. We ain't feel like it. We hit AD on the pop. In the midi. Easy peasy. We gonna get that bucket. And then we got AD walling up Bosch. He ends up throwing a bug. He's literally lost. He's li he literally can't see. He goes up on AD. AD gets the board. We run. We running. 69-61. AD, can you finish the masterclass? We hit AD for the slow fade to get him out of there. And that's all y'all needed to see from that man. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed the AD gameplay. They quit out and I gave you another game just so y'all could see me put on a repeated master class. With Clyde and Jimmy, when they quit, I let y'all just live with whatever they did in the first half slash first quarter. But with AD, I gave you multiple on top of multiple on top of multiple plethoras of him showing why he is gonna be the long the longevity power forward. <coughs> Excuse me. The longevity power forward for at least minimum two months. But not much more to say on AD. We already know he's the best card. I showed you why he's the best card. 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stop by the Twitch, Splashy, on the road to 1,100 subs. Make sure you help me get there. Stop by the Twitter, Splash Edition. DM me with any questions, comment any questions. Comment under here as well if you guys want to see more gameplays because I think I've been putting on the show with them when I do do them. Other than that, I love every single one of y'all. Make sure you have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace.